Hi, this is Maximilian Moll with Global Composers Network. One year ago, we asked about your backup system in the GCN Facebook group. It is time to bring that topic up again. It is crucial to your career as composer based on computer systems. What is a backup? It is basically a copy of your data. The medium doesn't really matter and there is no right or wrong way. The only wrong way is to not do backups at all. It is really important. Why should you do backups? Because you will lose your data sooner or later if you don't have any backups. All sorts of things can happen. Flooding, fire, lightning strike, tornado, or more likely just damage by dropping a hard drive or a virus which encrypts or destroys files, or most likely it just stops working overnight. Every hard drive, SSDs as well, are not fail-safe. Even if no physical damage happens, no virus and you don't mess up and delete files by accident, a drive can fail at any time. The older, more used or lower in quality your drive is, the higher the chance of failing. And it doesn't have to fail completely, you may only lose a section of your data, because it's not readable anymore. You see, if you are running a computer or a laptop without any backup copy of your data, you are in jeopardy losing important projects for your client, your school or university. And you don't want to screw that up. File recovery is very expensive, takes time and is no guarantee to fully restore all lost files. I know people that had all the important projects for university on a single external drive and carrying it around. One day, no device wanted to recognize it anymore. Simply imagine that moment you realize what that means to you. So what can you do? It is simple. When it comes to backups, you can always have a better professional solution, a higher security level and a more comfortable system. Luckily, we as composers don't have to deal with huge amounts of data like filmmakers do even when working with a lot of audio. A few terabyte or even less are enough for some time. First and easiest step is to get an external hard drive. A three or four terabyte USB 3 drive goes for around 100 bucks. If you are short on money, this investment can be a lifesaver. Of course, if you have any hard drive lying around, use it. Simply copy all your data on there, or at least the most important files. Some may say this is not a proper backup, but in my opinion, any copy of data is a backup and always better than having none. When the copy is complete, take the backup drive, unplug it and store it somewhere safe, so that it's away from the computer and can't take the same harm at the same time. To increase safety, do the same with a second backup drive. Then the chances are very low to lose data, even when the computer and backup drive fail at the exact same time and you still have a copy then. In case of priceless family photos, for example, there is no excuse not to do backups. That is a simple way of backups, but very inconvenient. Updating the backup with new and changed files manually is time consuming. You want to use software for that, which is capable of comparing your files on PC with the backup drive. There are some free tools that do the job perfectly. I use SyncBack, where I made profiles that synchronize the data on both drives copying over new files and delete files that don't exist anymore. You can exclude folders or files if you don't want to backup or when you don't have the space for all data. SAM libraries take up the most space, but they don't change much. So don't forget to backup those as well. In case your drive with libraries on it fails, you can continue working and not lose your mind looking at a deadline and the project without any instruments. Do backups as often as possible. You can have the backup program do it on a schedule. For instance, leave one backup drive plugged in for frequent backups and have one or more drives stored away. Backup on those regularly too. Part of what I described is called the 3 to one rule, which means having three copies, one on your PC and two backup drives. Two different mediums, this could be different technology or simply two different brands of hard drives to avoid failure for the same reasons. And one backup should be stored outside of your studio. This is crucial when you have really important business data and all is stored at one place. A fire, for example, could destroy everything. Using cloud-based storage in addition is an option you should consider. The data is almost impossible to lose. More professional solutions use server systems that have redundancy on its own, using multiple drives that provide data safety even when a drive in there fails. Of course, those are way more expensive, so it's up to you. This quick tip is meant for beginners and professionals who use a home studio and want an efficient and affordable backup solution. With simple external hard drives that are off the grid and stored away, you can already provide a lot of safety, which is enough for most users. 
So don't wait for a professional backup system, start now with any additional drive you have at hand. Another point of backups I like to mention is the system image. You should not only save the data, but also the whole operating system from time to time. Windows and Mac provide some kind of system recovery tools, but I prefer to do it differently. However, you can't do it properly while the system is running. In that case, you use a bootable device like a DVD or USB stick. I still use a DVD with a Cronus True image on it that runs when the PC boots up. I connect an external hard drive and run the image program. It then creates a file which contains all of the system partition. In case something happens, like a recent update messes up the system, something that happens with Windows 10 eventually, you can restore the operating system using the image program again. You may also use it in case the drive doesn't work anymore to copy the whole system partition onto a new hard drive. For instance, I used it to copy my system from my old hard drive to a SSD. So even when a virus makes your computer unusable with an image, you can get back to a fully working state in rather short amount of time. Some other software the Global Composers network members mentioned in our post is Time Machine, Chronosync and Carbon Copy Cloner for Mac and Carbonite. Dropbox and Google Drive work well as cloud-based storage. So what are you using for your backup? Let the community know, tell us your recommendations for software and hardware backup systems. Okay, this wraps it up. Be aware of the importance of backups. You can save so much money and time and all of your work by doing backups, no matter at what level. The 3 to one rule is a more a guideline for most efficient safety, so that's what you should aim for. Consider subscribing to not miss the next Quick Tips video and get involved with the Global Composers Network on Facebook. If you want to contribute yourself, contact us at globalcomposersnetwork at gmail.com. The links are down below. See you next week and goodbye.